Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about something called standard deviation. All right, so we're going to do a problem together. So you're going to take notes with me, and then you have a chance to try a problem on your own. And then at the end, you can see how you did. All right, so what exactly is standard deviation? All right, well, th to show you, I'm going to uh, actually talk about these five dogs. Okay, so if you notice, we have five dogs that kind of range in different heights. We have a really tall, it's like a German Shepherd, and then we have a really short hot dog here in the middle, okay? And a few other dogs are kind of in between. So standard deviation is used to tell us how far on average the data points are from the average, okay? So again, one more time. So standard deviation is used to tell us how far on average these dogs as a, as a group are from the average, okay? So a high score means that the data is really spread out, okay? And a low score means that the data is close together. So to get a low score for standard deviation, I want to have five dogs that are almost the same height, where a high score might be resulted from having, say, two really, really tall dogs, and then, say, three short dogs. So let's go over the process to actually calculate the standard deviation. All right, so for this, we're going to look at test scores. So we have a group of five test scores. And we have 92, 88, 80, 68, and 52. And what I did is I made a little table here and I plugged these numbers right into the first column, okay? So really there's six steps to find the standard deviation score, all right? Step number one is to find the mean of the data. So I need to add up these scores and then divide by five to get it, all right? So step one, I'm gonna add 92 plus 88 plus 80 plus 68 plus 52. Get that sum and divide it by five. And I'm gonna get a, a mean of 76, all right? So the mean of the data is 76. So I'm gonna put a 76 in this column for all these. 76 and 76. So that's really step number one. All right, step number two, what you do is you subtract the mean from each value. All right, so I'm gonna subtract 76 from each one of these numbers. So 92 take away 76 is 16. 88 take away 76 gives us 12. 80 take away 76 is four. 68 take away 76 gives us negative eight. And 52 take away 76 gives us negative 24. So that's step number two. Step number three is we square each of these numbers. So I'm gonna square 16. So 16 squared is 256. 12 squared is 144. Four squared is 16. Negative eight squared is 64. And negative 24 squared is 576. All right, so that is the step number three. Step number four, what you do is you find the sum of all of these squares, all right? So I'm gonna do that step over here. So I'm gonna add 256 plus 144 plus 16 plus 64 and then plus 576. And when I do that, I get a sum of 1,056. All right, so let's turn the page to now go over steps numbers five and six. All right, now step number five, what you do is you take that number, the sum we had, and you divide it by the number of numbers. So the number we had was 1,056, right? That was the sum for part four. And I'm gonna divide that by the five. And when I do that, I get 212, uh, excuse me, 211.2, okay? So that's step number five. And finally, to get the standard deviation, what you do is you take the square root of this number and we get 14.2. 5.3. So that is our standard deviation. All right, so again, this what does this mean? 
So a standard deviation score of 14.53 means that each one of these numbers on average is 14.53 away from the average of all the numbers. All right, so now that you understand a little more about standard deviation, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problem now and definitely use the notes as a guide. And then when you're done, hit play and we'll see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you did with the standard deviation problem. So what I did is I, I kind of color coordinated up the steps, okay? So step number one was find the mean of the data. So over here in blue, so I add up the five numbers and divide by five and I get 76, okay? So just like the last problem, uh, the average was 76, just by chance. All right, number two, I subtracted the mean from each value. So when I did 92 take away 76, I got 16. Um, and then 52 take away 76, I got negative 24. Step three, I squared each of the values. So 16 squared was 256, and then negative 24 squared was 576. Number four, I found the sum of the squares. Uh, so when I added up all the black numbers here, I got a sum of 1,920. And then if you turn the page, step number five, I divided the 1,920 by five, I got 384. And then finally, the final step to get the standard deviation, you take that number and you take the square root of it and it's 19.6. So the standard deviation of these five test scores was 19.6, where 19.6 was the distance each number was uh, from the actual distance of the five numbers. All right, how'd you do?